Hello everybody, good morning once again, and welcome to a Photo Joseph's Photo Moment. So if you are just watching the previous one, because we just restarted this, we had a little echo issue. Turns out, last minute I decided to add a second camera. Didn't occur to me that that camera has a microphone and was feeding through as well, so we were getting a little delayed audio loop. But hey, now we are good to go. Yes, we are. Super, so today's Photo Moment, and by the way, today is Tuesday the 26th of July, Today's photo moment is about this tripod head. This is the Manfrotto 410, and this is the tripod head that was used in my uh, real estate photo moment probably you know, probably about a month ago now. There were some questions about the tripod head, and I love this head, and I thought it'd be a chance to show it off and show off what it does. So, um, first of all, let's just take a quick look. Let me bring this screen back up here because I had this all set up for you. Take a look at the head. So, so this, this is the head on Amazon. It's the Manfrotto model 410. Uh, it's a little over $250, so that's actually not bad as far as a really good head goes. And this is the junior one. This is the smaller one. So if you have a larger camera, uh, you may want to look at the larger head. But I'm, of course, working with the Micro Four Thirds cameras. So that is, um, and she's back. When you switch the screen, it started the double again. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay, presets. Uh, now I know why. All right. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this off on the camera itself. Let's see here. So I'm trying to turn off the microphone entirely on this camera. Mic level adjust. I can turn it down, but I can't turn it off. All right, I need to plug something into that. That's what I need to do. This has an external mic port, so I just need a cable to plug into there. Um, where's my boom? Happy Tuesday. It's just Tuesday. Super. <laughs> okay, we're back. Problem solved, right? Problem has to be solved. Technically impossible for this problem not to be solved right now. Excellent. So, <laughs> yeah. here's what happened. So I got the second camera hooked up and realized in the beginning that that was, was creating the audio loop. Uh, not loop, it was a, a second audio source that was slightly out of phase with the first one, this mic. And I turned it off in my switching software, just muted that camera. But I have, I don't switch, I, I, when I switch sources, I use presets. And the presets all turn on and off audio automatically. And by default, the preset for that has turned the audio on because that is normally where my iPad is hooked up, not a second camera. So when I switch sources to the laptop, that mic came back on. So what I've just done to work around this is, if you can see this, is I just plugged in, because this camera, this is a, a Lumix FZ1000, this camera has an external microphone uh, port, so I just plugged in a mic and turned that mic off. And now it is quiet, and since Ty's not knocking on my door right now, I can assume we are good to go. So let's go back to the uh, to my computer really quick and show, let's go back to here. There's the head that we're looking at. So that's the Manfrotto 410 Junior. I was saying there is a larger version of this as well. This is the one that I'm working with. If you want to find this, just go photojoseph.com slash 410, 410, and that'll redirect you to this page. Just a little, little, uh, and that's an affiliate link. So, you know, share a little love if you're going to buy one of these. Now my phone's ringing. Um, so do that. Okay, now back to this. So the head itself, so now I can switch to my close-up camera, which I painstakingly hooked up earlier today. There it is. So here is the head, and here's why this head is so cool. To adjust it, you have two different, two different ways to move it. Um, you have three axes, of course, and you'll notice that each axis has this big knurled head on it. And I'm gonna grab this one because that's the easiest one to see on camera. And when I grab that, it just, it tilts freely in that direction. If I grab uh, this one here and twist that, it now twists freely in that direction. And then the other one is off to the side. Let's spin that around facing the camera. So there we go again. I just open that, spin it freely in that direction. 
And then let's put this back so it's easy to see like so and get out of the way of it. And now to adjust it, to give it fine adjustments, I just grab this little knob here and start to spin and it goes very slowly in that direction. So I can very quickly, let's see if I can even this out on camera. I can go in here and I can tilt this up or down very subtly to get the horizon straight or the line straight or whatever it is that I'm trying to do. So again, just grab this, let's do it so you can see it. I'll grab that and twist like so, very quick and easy to do. Grab this one, twist, tilts that way. Grab the one over here that you can no longer see. I can go, uh, go completely vertical if I needed to that way. And then of course, once it's back up, I can just adjust the knob a little bit to give it that subtle turn. So there's that, that's really cool. Now here's another thing about this. Um, I'm going to, so this, okay, these legs that are on here, lift this up a little bit. This is a smaller set of legs as well. Um, the model on this is, 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 I'm sure it says in here somewhere, here we go. This is the Manfrotto uh, 57, 057C3. So 057 Charlie 3. That's the model on this tripod head, uh, the tripod legs. The thing is, Let's go back to the close up here. That when I first put this on here, this would not, it was wrong axis, uh, this axis. Is that the right one? No, it was this one. There we go. This axis, I couldn't tilt it all the way because the knurled knob here was hitting this plate. Now you can see that is no longer a problem. I can tilt it. Actually, I guess I technically maybe, no, is it still hitting it? No, that's the end of the tripod range of motion. Um, but it was initially hitting this piece here. So I had to add this spacer. This spacer in here lifted the head up a little bit. And you can tell, if you just, if I tilt this towards the camera a little bit, you can tell that the top of the plate here doesn't match the size of the, put my finger in the right place so you can see it, doesn't match the size of the head plate here. So this is smaller than this, which is why the spacing doesn't match out. So if you put this little spacer on there, it lifts it up and then you don't have that problem. And then finally, this is of course, spin it back towards the camera, a quick release head. And you can buy additional plates as well. And I have a couple of these because it can be very handy if you're swapping between cameras to be able to have an additional plate on there. They're huge plates. And keep in mind, this is the junior. This is the mini one. There's a bigger head that uh, is exactly the same, just larger. And the plate, you know, maybe the plate's the same size. That I, I don't know. Um, but either way, the plate on this is pretty, pretty healthy in size. But man, when that thing goes on, that is solid. This is a really, really nice solid head. This doesn't look very solid because of the ground that I have in here, the strange cushioned ground here, but it is, believe me when I say this head is rock solid. Now let's just tilt that thing back up, get that in a position. And then again, you can just twist it gently to crank it exactly where you want. So that's that. That is this cool little Manfrotto 410 head. Again, if you want to check this thing out, please go to photojoseph.com slash 410. That'll redirect you to the Amazon page. I'd appreciate that. But otherwise, um, I couldn't recommend this head, this head any higher. I really, really like it. Uh, it does have a, um, what do you call it? Level, little spirit level built into the top. How uh, useful that is. My camera has electronic level in it. So I'm looking at the screen and I can see whether it's tilted or yawed, whichever is which. Uh, and so I can level things out and then obviously looking at the scene to see if the scene is even as well. But that little spirit head there can be quite handy. And I guess that's about it. That's everything to say about the head. Um, degree lines on there, I don't know how useful that is, but they're there. And there you go. So cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for the fun in the beginning, but hey, that's all part of the game. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.